Hello and welcome back to my channel and to one of my favourite types of videos to create, my autumn capsule wardrobe for 2022. With all the coats, the jackets, blazers and knitwear I would have on my rail. Now I've had everything down from the attic and done a huge declutter. I've sold, I've donated, and just generally organized my wardrobe, which feels so much better. So I thought you might be interested to see if I could only have 33 pieces in my closet for autumn, what would they be? And how would I style them together? That's what I'm going to be sharing with you all today. A portion of this video has very kindly been sponsored by The Jacket Maker. They create a really lovely collection of leather and suede jackets and coats. So I'm very excited to show you the one I chose a little bit later. But first, let's get stuck into this rail with my coats. So like I mentioned before, in this edit, I'm going to be sharing the essential coats, jackets, blazers, and knitwear that I would have in my ideal capsule wardrobe. This is part one. In part two, I'll be sharing my tops, my bottoms, and my dresses. So make sure you keep an eye out for that on my channel. I'd also really love to hear your favorite outfit ideas in the comment section below as we go along. So without further ado, let me show you what I chose. So firstly, I don't think I could enjoy my wardrobe as much as I do without at least one wool camel coat. That shade just makes me very happy indeed. It's a bit like yellow in summer. In autumn, I seem to just crave these rich autumnal tones and I find them so very versatile to have in my closet. Now, I especially love them styled against navy. That seems to make both those tones feel even more opulent but I'd also style it with black, I'd go with grey and of course I love it just as much with my winter whites. Now I umdenard over this lovely herringbone coat for quite a while debating whether I deem it essential for now and I've begrudgingly opted to save it for winter instead. It's pretty heavyweight and a really lovely thick wool and although I love the shape and it feels really on trend for this season I really wanted this rail to be as wearable and realistic as possible and I think this one just might be a little bit too warm for now. So for once, I'm going to show a little bit of patience. But the second coat I am definitely adding in would be this Ecru version. So this one has been made from wool as well, but it's a slightly lighter weight than the gray one. And that floaty shape is just a bit more effective for the transitional weather. I really love these light, neutral, Ecru and beige coats for this particular season. And like the camel one before, I find them a fundamental part of my autumn capsule wardrobe. The weather has definitely turned and we're reaching for those layered looks again. So the majority of the time, your outerwear is what's seen the most. That's why I will always save the biggest part of my budget for a beautiful coat. It's definitely your hero piece that everyone always sees. And thirdly, and probably least surprising, would be my trench coat. Now I should really have chosen my navy one to have another tone in the mix, but in truth, it's probably the camel that I tend to reach for the most. Now I've waffled many times before about the importance of having a gorgeous trench coat in your capsule wardrobe, so I shan't waffle about them anymore. But if you don't already have one, I can highly recommend you treat yourself. So like I mentioned at the start of this video, this portion has very kindly been sponsored by The Jacket Maker, a company whose whole ethos is about bringing you the highest quality leather coats and jackets, but always keeping their prices fair and affordable. So this sounded like my cup of tea right from the start. And actually choosing the item I wanted to feature was the quickest and easiest shop I think I've ever done. It had to be the bomber jacket a style that we know is one of the biggest fashion trends this autumn 2022. And yet, regardless of the trends, will remain an absolute classic for your own capsule wardrobe. So it's just arrived this morning, so fresh out of the box, I can give you my honest first impression. So the quality of the leather is really stunning. It's neither too light nor too heavy, it's just somewhere in that perfect middle. The hardware on it I really like because it's very subtle and it's really unobtrusive. I personally really don't like it when zips or hard Hardware is too shiny or gaudy, it just ruins the whole item for me. But the main zip down the front here, for instance, and even on the pocket, is really subtle and understated, which is very much my own style. I also really like how the collar, the cuffs, and the hem actually are really quite wide. I think they've got that contrast of depths really spot on, and being doubled over with the rib as well does make it feel so much more substantial. Size-wise, I went for the medium, as I often do with most of my coats, and I would say 
this one fits me perfectly. If however you want something that's particularly oversized I would say size up once possibly twice even to really capture that kind of style. Like you'll have seen with this footage I would style a leather jacket with just about any outfit idea I could create. A beautifully made version has that wonderful knack of just polishing and totally completing any outfit idea. If you make sure that you get that core of your wardrobe really spot on you'll find that those pieces will never let you down. Now while I decided to go for the brown leather bomber jacket they actually have one huge selection of different leather coats and jackets to choose from so I can highly recommend at the end of this video to click the link in the description box below and have a really good browse of their collection for yourself. A big thank you again to the jacket maker for supporting this video. I for one am very chuffed to have such a gorgeous leather jacket new in my autumn capsule wardrobe. I'm strangely excited for autumn this year. I'm normally such a summer girl that it's been really odd for me to be quite so eager to start wearing all my big coats and chunky knits again. But hey, it's gonna get cold whether I like it or not, so I may as well be happy about it. Thankfully, blazers are the ultimate layering tool for autumn. They're lightweight enough to carry around with you just in case. They're incredibly easy to style with or without a knit underneath. And if you consider your choice really carefully, they'll no doubt be one of the hardest working pieces in your entire capsule wardrobe. That might explain why I've added no less than four onto my rail. And this is the edited version. So as you'll have seen in this footage, I chose my classic navy blazer first. Now I opted for this one over my more traditional navy version because the shape feels just that little bit more on trend. It's wider, more boxy, a little bit more oversized and those gold buttons add a touch of subtle embellishment too which we'll be seeing an awful lot of this season. Plus of course it has that sprinkle of Parisian chic something I will never say no to. Now this blazer is new in my wardrobe and has fast become one of my absolute favorites. I try and look out for distinctive features that make an item really stand out. Now that doesn't mean I need something bright or something flashy or expensive even, quite the opposite actually. It's about keeping an eye out for those interesting little details that give a piece its star quality. Now with this blazer, it was a combination of three different things. The cut with those sharp shoulders and lapels, the fabric composition having been made from a blend of wool which feels warm but not overly heavy and of course the colour. A neutral mink that will complement the majority of my brow and no doubt always be the star of those outfits. I also really love the slight sheen to this particular fabric and the oversized boxy shape and as a happy bonus it's one of the big fashion trends for autumn 2022 so it's ticking that box at the same time. I do find grey really useful to have on my rail and I like to style it a lot with black, I go with blue and soft pinks even, but choosing which grey blazer to add for a hugely edited rail was the really hard part. Now as much as I love this herringbone blazer and I've worn it countless times over the last couple of years, it is, like the grey coat, one of my heavier weight blazers. So for that very reason it got pipped to the post by my plain grey version instead. My obsession with camel continues, so of course I had to add at least one blazer in that tone. Now in my defense, I do tend to reach for this one so much that it would be really wrong for me to not include it in this rail. This is a classic bestseller shape that's available in lots of different tones. I have it in the navy too, actually, which I might rotate in as we get into winter. But for now, I am definitely enjoying these autumnal tones for my capsule wardrobe. It feels refreshing to have them back in again, and I especially love the shade worn against light wash jeans like this. Coincidentally, these jeans that I'm wearing both here and in that footage, I'm going to have a look about getting them in a couple of the different colours as I think the shape is perfect for this season. High-waisted and the perfect taper down my leg, plus going true to size, they're not too tight, they're just perfectly oversized in my humble opinion. The joy of creating an autumn capsule wardrobe has to be the welcoming back of all your snuggly knits. But while the weather's still very much in between, it means we can style them in slightly different ways. The outfit I'm wearing today is a gorgeous newing cardigan in this sumptuous shade of blue. Now, as it's still relatively warm outside, I don't need to layer anything underneath. And while my jeans are covering my legs, I can still just about get away with my open-toned shoes on my feet. Showing those little bits of skin with my cardigan falling off my shoulder, the sleeves pushed up on my arms, and block-heeled sandals on my feet. It gives the outfit more of an effortless feel. It's subtle and still practical, of course, but those little details can be really effective in making your outfit stand out from the rest. 
Side note, I love this style so much that I've also got it in the cream and the gray, which you can see I styled here over on my page. A great buy that's hugely versatile for my wardrobe. Half sit jumpers like stripes have become a bit of a thing in knitwear. So if you don't already have a lovely option in your own closet, I can highly recommend the investment. So this is one that I received recently from Varley a few weeks ago, and I particularly love how heavyweight it is. While I do love all the snuggly knits throughout autumn, sometimes my eczema gets the better of me and I just crave those cool cottons against my skin. So I thought this would be a really chic option for me to switch to. No big surprises here. You know I'd have to have at least one striped knit in the equation and probably a few more by the time we get into winter but for now this new beat for my wardrobe is definitely the front runner made from a blend of merino wool and mohair it has snuggly vibes written all over it but i love the little details that make it just that extra bit special those gold buttons adding a subtle touch of embellishment and the fact that you can leave them open if you wish to just change up the shape of that neckline it's also available in the opposite navy with the crew stripes or a ribbed light beige if you prefer but personally i find it invaluable valuable to have a couple of stripe items on my rail so this was a really easy pick for me. Now I've already shown this jumper both on my channel and on my page as it's proved hugely versatile for this change of seasons. It's light enough to roll up in your bag and have with you just in case but of course the nature of this yarn is that it's warm yet really breathable at the same time which makes it the perfect layering item for your outfit ideas. Now in contrast to those thin merino knits sometimes you just want to be wrapped up in your knitwear and with this one how Having a sprinkle of cashmere in the composition, it feels like a really luxurious way to do it. So here I've styled it fairly classic with my charcoal grey straight leg trousers and those Chanel dupe belly flats on my feet. The addition of the tan handbag warms the whole outfit and come the colder weather I just switch out those shoes for my ankle boots instead. For my autumn capsule wardrobe I'd normally only add one big roll neck like this onto my rail but as we do get into those colder months I will switch out a couple of those thinner jumpers for more options like this. Now a bit like the half zip jumper, this casual cotton sweater really ticks a box for me. This is essentially my school run style, or for those without children, my popping out to the shops look. I want to look chic and put together, but I don't want or have the time to be honest to look super dressed up. Having at least one of these go-to jumpers in my autumn capsule wardrobe really does make those kind of everyday outfits super easy to create. It's been made from organic cotton, it's super affordable, and of course I will never say no to a little Parisian style twist. Staying with that neutral palette I find so very wearable on a day-to-day -day basis, I've then added this enduring merino cashmere blend grey jumper into my collection. Made from fine Italian yarns and with this oversized fit that I tend to reach for the most, it's the sort of jumper you know you'll end up styling on repeat. Now it's also available in two different stripe options should you be looking for the perfect knit to rock that trend, but I was personally missing a grey knit in my wardrobe so I opted to go for that one instead. Now I'm wearing the size one here and as you can see it's very slightly oversized. I don't think you need to size up to recreate this look. And last but not least for my knitwear this season I've chosen a classic cashmere crew neck. I don't think my autumn capsule wardrobe could ever be complete without at least one of these. Like the merino jumper before it's light enough to be able to wear it as is and not overheat and yet the quality of that cashmere is so very stunning and it keeps me warm enough to boot. Come winter, I like to layer it under a cardigan or maybe a blazer, but for now I can happily make it the star of the show, even when I'm wearing something super casual like this. The quality of that yarn really does stand out, and they're probably one of my favorite places to buy this particular shape and style of knitwear. So like I mentioned, this is part one of my autumn capsule wardrobe for 2022. A truly wearable, versatile, and hopefully you agree, effortless collection of coats, jackets, blazers, and knitwear. Part two will be out in a couple of weeks time. There I will be sharing my essential dresses, my tops and bottoms for the season ahead. So make sure you keep an eye out for that on my channel. In the meantime, I have linked all my outfit ideas that I've featured today in the description box below. And don't forget to take a look at the jacket maker for a really stunning option on that all important leather jacket. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've got this far through the video, big hugs to you for all your support. I am always hugely grateful. I shall be back next week with a new in haul and try on. So hopefully I shall see you there. Have a great week everyone, take care.